Christmas. Ignore the background. Right now, I'm using something very special, which is actually one of my presents that I uh, got for Christmas. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. I'm going to do a whole entire vlog throughout the day, but to introduce this video, I have what I got for Christmas. So, yeah, this is a Christmas Day vlog. We have a lot we're going to do today. Basically, just have some fun for Christmas. So, let's get right into this video. So, the first thing that I will show you is what I got in my stocking. So, this is my stocking. Oh, so cute! Um, the first thing that I got is this phone case for this phone that I'm using right now. Which, the other thing that I have is something that I can't show you right now because it's one of my presents. So, this isn't the other thing that I got in my stocking. Just a cherry blossom... Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Fantasies Spray, which I love perfume. It smells good. Very strong. Now, on to the more small kind of things that I got. This is one of the things. I got two of these cables which one of them I'll have to show you later because it's on it's charging one of the gifts that I have got. So let's move on to something that I have to just uh, explain. So I got a SD card, an SD card. It's 128 gigabytes and it's currently in something that I can't show you yet because it's one of the gifts. So let's go on to what I'm using right now. Right now I'm using the Weebon tripod. Um, I... I will show you a picture of me using it um, somewhere in this video. It's probably at the end. So, yeah. But, um, the next thing. What's the next thing? I think I'll use do that thing last. So, let's move on to the biggest thing that I got. Like, big wise. So, I got... All of the Harry Potter, Harry Potter books. Um, I got the UK edition. This was 64 bucks. It was amazing. Oh, I held them upside down. Sorry. Now, this is what it looks like. Sorry, this is what it looks like. Like that. The... Castle, that side, that side, and then of course all of them together. The, I have to hurry up with this. The first one, if I can get it out. One second, I'll be right back. So the first one is this one right there. With the back there's a purple seal on that one I don't know what that's about but it has Hagrid Harry Hermione wait Ron and Hermione this uh, the first book Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone if you're an old fan then you know that it was originally called Sorcerer's Stone and it's called different things in different countries and different uh, series of them so, the second book is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the one that I did not finish reading. So, this is where I left off, is in the second book, about 50 pages in. 
Um, it has got, I think this is a phoenix. That's a humongous snake. I don't know exactly what it's called. That's Harry with his wand. Well, a sword, sorry. And, yeah. This is the Chamber of Secrets. And it's got Dobby on the back. He's so cute. So, that's the second one. And then, the third one is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And this has got Dementors and his, uh, oh, I forgot what they're called. Um, and it's got the Nocturne Alley bus on the back. So this is the front. So pretty. The pages are like silk, like, oh, I don't want to bend the spine. Not yet. Oh, and then the fourth one is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and it's got a dragon and Harry on his broom, probably the Nimbus 3000, right? Or 5000. And then there's the golden egg right there. Now I know where that's from. There's so many spoilers on this cover. And then... On the back is just Harry, Hermione, and Ron. And they're a little group. They're a little group. And then, whoops. The fifth one is the biggest one. The Order of the Phoenix. So this is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And S Professor Sybaris Snape on the back. This is like, like 700 some pages. It's absolutely insane how many pages there are. It'll be the longest book I've ever read. Probably some of the, all of these will be. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. The sixth book in the, what do you even call it? And then there's Draco Malfoy on the back. This is Albus Dumbledore and Harry Potter um, on the front. And then a ton of like mummified, I don't really know what they're called because I haven't read the book yet. Um, then the last book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. One that I am very scared to read because um, I've accidentally spoiled myself on some of these. I'm not going to do any spoilers because I don't want to. <laughs> so... Um, basically, there's, like, all of the dark side, there's literally, like, uh, Voldemort, um, probably Professor Quirrell, or Quirrell, however you want to say it. I say Quirrell, because that's how a lot of people say it. There's fire and everything, there's the snake up there, and then on the back is Hagrid, Harry, Hedwig, Hedgewig, and Hedwig, I think. And then um, his, like, motorcycle thing. His humongous bike. So, that is the last book. So, those are the books that I got. Now on to the big reveal for the step forward in my channel. And then I'll show you what my brother got me. So, the step forward for my channel is so such a, a great honor to be able to show you guys because I've been wanting one of these for such a long time and I finally have it now. I hope you guys have had a great Christmas so let me show you what it is. So first I'm going to show you the box. So one, two, three, drum roll please. This is the digital camera that I got. This is a very good digital camera in my opinion because it's, it's not even a hundred bucks. Like it's got a rotatable screen. Two batteries, two lithium batteries, which you can charge with a cable, a USB cable, and a charge uh, charge thing for the wall, and you just can charge the batteries like that. And then, because I was worrying about, oh no, I won't be able to actually use the battery or use the camera because it won't be charged, but I was wrong. So, this is one of what the lithium, lithium batteries look like. It's just... A lithium battery you probably know what they look like if you're watching this 
Um, or maybe you don't. So, yeah, that's my extra. Probably won't be using too many times, but I'll charge both of them. Um, and then this is a USB cable. Then um, I have the instruction manual. Sorry. And then I have the strap for my neck when I'm doing like photos because I have the uh, tripod for everything else. Then I have this lens. Um, super excited to use it. It's like glass lens. I'm not going to take it out because I want it to be as clean as possible for as long as possible. Now for the reveal of the actual camera. This camera is not that big. It's lightweight, so it's not going to be like too hard for you to use. So let me show you what it looks like. So you guys, this is the camera. I It's the sticker. The sticker on here is just to show that it's 2.7K UHD. So I'm so excited to use this. Okay, so... Right on the bottom here is where you put it on the tripod, which this tripod is, in, is compatible with it. Right here is where I put the, right there with the little part there, is where I put the SD card and everything in it. And so I can't open that or else the SD card will like come back out. Or actually, no, it won't. This is what it looks like. like that and so it's got this screen here let me do like this whoops it's got this screen so you just sorry flip it oh it was upside down you just flip it like that and you can see yourself I think it's very good quality for the expense that it was, and then you can just charge it like that and plug it into the wall. It's still red. It takes a while to charge, so I'm not going to bother it until like five hours from now, and then I'll see how much it's charged. But it lasts a very long time, so that is the reason why it is so hard, long to charge it. So then, right here is an open button. When you do that, the flash comes out so that you can take pictures with the flash. Then you just click it right back in. This is the power on and off button. The, I think, zoom in, zoom out. I think that's what that's for. And then this right there is for taking a picture. So you just look in the viewfinder and then you've got Wi-Fi compatibility because it's got a app, an app if you just read the manual and everything, there's an app that you can get, Shutter app, I believe. And then, so you can take pictures uh, just with your phone. Then there's menu, display, there's the trash can, so if you want to delete something. The play video, so if you just filmed a video, or you're on the menu and you're on your video, so you can actually play that video. It's got the, I don't actually know what, sorry, this little... Uh, thing up there was like and then so that's trash can and then sorry about that and then the W I don't know what that's for I think it's might be for wide angle and then the T I don't know what that's for either I have to read like the manual and get used to this camera it seems like a pretty easy camera to use it's not super like um hard to understand or anything so yep that's pretty much it for the camera I'm not going to show you how it looks yet I will show you in my next upcoming video will be with this which will be my whole entire camera review and everything showing you more up close and detailed and the menus on the actual camera and everything so I'm going to let it charge it's plugged into the wall it needs the charge for the next like four or five hours so I'll show you what my brother got me and then we have to get onto the vlog so you guys I'm back 
There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what my brother Mason got me. Thank you so much, Mason, for getting this for me. And I'm actually going to upload this video as not a vlog because I can upload this in like eight minutes. So yeah, um, what he got me first was this gorgeous mug. And I'm going to be using this for the readathon that I'll be doing. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited because it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. I love it so much. And it's even got details down there. I love this so much. And then the next thing that I saw when he gave me these gifts is this Sculpey Crafty Clay, Oven Baked Clay, Oven Baked Clay Variety Pack. Endless color combinations, great for jewelry, home decor, figurines and more hours of crafting fun 14 piece so this is eight years and older so don't try it if you aren't 18 right there are the tools and then all the things you can do with it all the different colors and then let's open it okay so there's just like some stuff you can make then this is like sculpting stuff i don't know much about those there's black and white so black white brown lighter brown yellow blue brown really dark brown red purple green orange pink that is the first gift that he got me and then the se well, second gift. The third gift that he got me is this Love Lucy by Lucille O'Ball. It just says Lucille Ball. And this is a book about Lucille Ball's life. She has been a humongous role model in my life because I watched her for a long, long time when I was a kid. Like, even when I was a baby, my mom, my parents and siblings probably watched it without me. So, <laughs> thanks. But uh, basically, it has a ton of pictures, references to the show, how her marriage went, stuff like that. And I, I'm, I'm a kind of like, a bit more like interested into adult kind of stuff than a lot of other kids are. Like this kind of, like adult stories and stuff like that, documentaries and all that and so that's what that was and then another one is this in memory of lucille ball like a tribute to lucille ball um loving lucy by forwarded by gail gordon by bart andrews and thomas j watson this is mostly about like her show and her early years there's tons of pictures in this one tons of pictures then the last gift that he got me was the travels of marco polo a modern translation um by who is it by ow i actually don't know who it's by that's great so marco polo is of course history um he was like one of the people that took over Spain, I believe. Um, but yeah. And he got these at like these thrift shops for books. I love old books. I love to read them because, you know, they've probably been sitting on a shelf for a long time. And I just feel very kind when I read an old book. So you guys, that's what I got for Christmas. I'm so, so excited to use my camera. I already saw the quality and it is so nice. So like, pretty much, really much better than this, so. And I can go up to a 1080p pixel quality. This is, like, a really good camera, but it's just not what I'm exactly looking for. That camera is just, it's better. It's just better. So, I love you guys so much, and I hope you had a Merry Christmas. I'm having a great day. This will be uploaded, and then after that will be a vlog for Vlogmas, my only day of Vlogmas, but at least you got one day. So, I love you guys so much. Bye!